When it comes to upper body pushing exercises, two of the positions that you'll come back to again and again are a push in this sort of horizontal plane and a push in this vertical plane. So this, what does this look like? A push up <laughs> and then an overhead press. You might also see this in a chest press. So let's talk about those things. In both movements, you want to stack your joints. So let's say we're going overhead. You want to stack your arm right over your shoulder. So you don't want to be here or out here or, you know, any sort of variation of that. You want to be stacked. So pressing overhead, tips, organize your body from the ground up. Really root your feet into the ground, create this nice standing plank. So hopefully you already saw the video about bracing your core. Imagine someone's going to slap you in the belly, squeeze your glutes, keep your chin nice and tucked, and find your starting position. From here, you'll press straight up to where your biceps are next to your ears, elbows are locked, and then come back down. I see a lot of people kind of get to like here and stop. So see if you can go all the way to a locked out arm where you're stacked and then bring it back down with control. So that's what I look for in an overhead press. For a horizontal press or a push up, we also want to stack our shoulders over our hands. So start out, you know, on hands and knees, make sure you're stacked up. And then from here, come into your plank. If you're going to full plank, you can also do push ups on your knees. But you want to make sure that you maintain that position where your shoulders are over your hands. Now bending at the elbow, lower down, and then push the floor away. Notice my elbow is tracking back about 45 degrees. So I'm not going way out like goalposts. I'm going about 45 degrees. Pointer finger mostly forward, okay? So it, there can be a little bit of variation in that. Um, but your index finger should be mostly forward. Bring your chest down between your hands and then press the floor away. So if you notice that you're getting really scrunched up in your neck or you're really doing a lot of compensating or let's just say we get like a lot of peaks and valleys and dipping in our body, like one part's going first but then we kind of have to scoop, <laughs> any of those types of things is an indicator that we might want to take our push up down to another level, maybe on the knees or maybe coming to an elevated surface you can do a push up off of a bench or some stairs until you've got your form really dialed in. Um, the variation of a press that would be like a push up but using weights on your back would be like a bench press or if you're on the floor, a floor press. <laughs> and with this one, you can adapt your arm position a little bit to what's comfortable. I usually just sort of go with what feels really neutral, which means my, my weights aren't lined up in a perfectly straight line. They're slightly angled. And I just lower the elbows nice and slow towards the floor and then press straight up. You want to bring the weights over your chest, not over your face. So it's really about stacking and then maintaining a neutral position in the rest of your body. So those are my tips on upper body pressing.